Hey there lovelies, it's Sarah Leonard here from AuraAngelArt.etsy.com and this is another little one page spread in my journal. I haven't worked in my journal for a little while, I've been busy making rose angels which you may have seen on my YouTube channel. Um, and that the rose angels I've made are kind of based on this page here which I shared in a video a little while ago. Um, the page that I'm sharing today is basically a kind of practice run for um, creating some chakra angels that I'm eventually going to paint onto canvas. So I had a little play around with some different materials, had to go with different positioning with a different sort of stance for the angel if you like, um, with her standing and you can see her dress and her um, her robe a little bit more than you usually can with my angels. Um, so this um, chakra angel is the root chakra angel. That's the little symbol that I've done up at the top here. Um, some of the things that I will change, I think, for the um, art on canvas will be to put this chakra symbol in a more prominent place, perhaps to put some more light colored paint in the background to allow it to stand out because it seems a little bit too subtle at the moment. Um, but I like the combination of the inks and the splatter and the collage papers and I really like how she's come out um, so I think I'll keep most of the designs fairly similar when I then work this onto canvas. So um, what did I use for this one? I started out with two different Bombay inks. Um, I've got crimson and cherry red and I also used some golden high flow light red or naphthol red light um, and I used a water spray bottle to kind of get this kind of patterning that you can see just in this little section here. Um, I used a whole selection of different um, origami papers I think these are called, you can buy them on Amazon um, and eBay. So I used a different selection of them and I kind of created a frame around the paint splatter with those and then I kind of brought everything together with some acrylic paints. So the ones I used were a naphthol crimson, cadmium red hue, primary red, and red oxide, which is more of an orangey browny kind of colour. It's lovely. So I used all of those in the background, smooshed them around with my fingers, um, and then I did a little bit of white splatter with some um, just white acrylic ink, basically, in the background. For the angel, I used most of the same sorts of things that I tend to use for all of my angels. So I used my um, portrait paint, pink acrylic paint. I used my Neo Art bars for shading, which are just the same as the Caran d'Ache Neo Color 2s, which I used for her hair and for her dress. Um, I used some pit pens for shading as well. Um, I used cinnamon and warm grey for shading and I used a selection of my Prismacolor pencils as well for shading and for colouring in the lips and the cheeks and all of those things. Um, I used my Jane Davenport, um, I don't know what these are called, they don't have the name written on them but they're kind of sparkly markers. Um, I used that one in red for the root chakra symbol. And I also used the gold one to add some little sparkly dots into her hair. I used my Jane Davenport paint over pen in Unicorn, which is white for the highlight. And I used my Uniball Eye Fine Liner for the details and also to add some more shade into the face. And my Stabilo All Pencil, which I just realised I hadn't used to go around the edges of her. Sometimes when I've done the kind of aura around them, because um, I'm using gelatos, it can kind of blur the um, outline a little bit and you can lose that definition. So I just tend to use that as the very last layer because it will literally colour over anything. It doesn't matter what you've put on the page already, it will manage. Um, so I use that. To help the definition. I also used some nice collage pieces and kind of hid them a little bit in her dress just to show her wings and also a little rose just because they were a nice red colour to go with that 
particular root chakra idea. And I think that's everything that I used for this particular angel. So I hope you enjoy watching her come to life, watching the step-by-step -step process. And stay tuned for some more. I'm going to work my way through all of the chakras. Um, just experimenting with different ideas and what they might look like. And then eventually I'll get them onto canvas as well as sort of finished designs if you like. So thanks ever so much for watching and please do check out the comments box um, below the video. That's where I'll share the link to my Etsy store. So if you do like the art that you see, you might want to buy some for your home. Thanks ever so much.